Who are you? Um, my name is Micah Mitchell. I'm a computer science major from Trinidad and Tobago. I'm a sophomore. Um, and yeah, that was my Howard intro, I guess. What made you want to take a computer science route? Um, I entered the school as chem. Um, then I switched to chem engineering. I realized that I didn't like chemistry anymore. Um, I, it just kind of got really difficult. My memory is really bad and I hate having to remember stuff. So I'm more like a, I more enjoy working stuff out. Like, I guess, um, reason. And that's kind of why I chose computer science. Also, I feel like the amount of work that you do for chem engineering and you know, the pay you get is not necessarily fair. So I just didn't think it made sense. Why Howard? Um, why Howard? Uh, so, I have like family friends who've come here. Um, it's a pretty big American school for Trinidad. Like, there are a lot of Trinidadians here. We have a huge population on campus. So it was kind of like, if I did come to America to go to school, I would still, there would still be like familiar faces and like people, a family that lives in the area. So it was just really familiar. Um, also, I think the opportunities are, are really good as well. And I, I'm not necessarily someone who needed the people who look like you around. You think that, that wasn't really big for me coming into the school, but I could see why it's like a big thing when, when people would like to come back. spaces in any sense or art? I honestly wasn't until I, I met um, my friend Karan over the summer and I started to get into photography. I started taking pictures which I really enjoy. Um, I recently bought a guitar and I'm gonna try to teach myself how to play guitar. I don't know how that will work out but um, I just I'm waiting to see. And yeah I, I definitely want to be more of a creative person and I kind of stopped enjoying like a lot of the work I was doing, like the school work, stuff like that, um, because it just, it wasn't really what I want to do. Like yeah, computer science makes a lot of money and it's something good to fall back on, but it's not, I can't see myself coding for the rest of my life. I don't think I'll enjoy that at all, so. So what is it that you want to do? I, I just want to make stuff that makes me happy. like. I mean, obviously, like at, at some point, I would like to expand that to other people, but I think I need to figure out what I, what makes me happy first. And I'm, I'm kind of in the phase where I'm trying to figure that out right now. Um, I love music, and I've always loved music. I've always loved singing. You know, people always told me I had a decent voice, so I kind of want to do something with that, but I, I, I love writing as well. And so I kind of want to start doing music, but I haven't gotten into it yet, and that's kind of what why I wanted to learn how to play the guitar um, to it help writing and stuff like that. Um, just from my perspective, it just seems like you are, I, I want to call it a creative shift. I don't know what the proper name for it is right now, but right. I'll call it a creative shift. And I think it's something that as creatives that we all experience where we go the technical route. We go with the route that people want to push us towards. Yeah. Whether it be computer science, whether it be, I was a biomedical science major at one point. Wow. Yeah. So we all go through that, that route where we feel like it's safe and it'll make us money and it's something that we can like work with, fall back on. It's something that people understand. Yep. So right now, it seems like you're going through that creative shift. What are you noticing about yourself and how you're growing through that process? What, is, what does that look like for you right now? I just have like a lot more reason in my mind to do stuff like there was a period of time very recently um well so I, I got diagnosed with depression and i think part of that um is because i was i wasn't doing anything that i really enjoyed doing so i'd get up on a morning and just stay in bed till like one to two just doing nothing scrolling through my phone because i knew that if i got out of bed and i had to go do work like i had to go do a coding exercise or i had to do a project it was nothing that i wanted to do so I was like why would i do it i didn't feel like going outside because i just there was nothing motivating me so i was like you know what it's not making any sense um i i don't like being inactive so i was like i have to find a way to to be active and I'm only gonna do that, knowing myself, I'm only gonna do that if it's something I want to do. 
And so I just start to try and things and, and I want to try things. So that's kind of how I've gone back into just like life, I guess. Um, and that's been really helpful. I haven't felt like this in a very, very, very long time. And, and yeah, it's, it's helped me just like carry about my day better. Um, do you ever see yourself going the full creative route, like just dropping the technical stuff, computer science, all of it, and just, just fully immersing yourself into that creative experience? Yeah, I hope one day that I have the courage to just um, to do something like that. I, don't, I wouldn't say I have it now, yet. Um, and that's just a fact, I, I can't lie, I just don't have that that confidence in myself yet because I, I haven't really started doing enough I feel like to to make that um that switch but yeah I do hope that I, one day I can do that yes and what would that shift look like what do you feel like you're waiting for for that like confidence to come to make that full first step yeah I feel like the day when I'm like when I can look at myself in the mirror and be like oh shit like I'm proud of what I just did. So maybe like it would be a day where I, I write a riff or a song like that I, I really, it means a lot to me. And I think it's good as well. Cause I feel like, yeah, you could do stuff. Um, and I know like part of being creative is trying a bunch of things and not all of it is gonna be good. But I think the day when I could see like for myself that what I've done is good and I, I love it and I'm proud of it, then that's the day when I think I get committed. You feel like him, me, you meeting him has attributed to you like being able to just get out of your shell and feeling more comfortable within a creative space, even though you're just like getting your feet wet pretty much. Absolutely, yeah. Like without a doubt, I don't think, and it's, it's kind of crazy because I, I spent a whole year here at Howard and I met some cool people, but the, like, the closest people to me were people that I kind of already knew before. Like my friend Vrakash, he's gonna do an interview as well at some point. Um, but like, going th like how many ever, like thousands of miles, how much, I don't know how far Colorado is, like a thousand miles from here or something, just to meet another Howard student that like, you know, you really, like that's the type of person I wanted to meet and I didn't find it in Howard, I found it in Colorado off of a random internship. It's kind of crazy, but like, yeah, absolutely. Um, I just, I don't think I'd met someone like Karan before. Like someone who looks like me, he don't look exactly like me, but like, you know, someone who is the same demographic as me. Um, this confident in himself when pursuing something that, like for people like us, I, recently, or, or you know, it's become a more prevalent thing, but like, I think something in the black community that we don't have is security. And that's something that even like in my situation where my, my father, like he was really poor and he, he had done okay for himself to give us a better life, but even still, we don't have that generational wealth that we could fall back on. Like th that's something that we don't have. And, Art is something that could be so uncertain, but seeing someone so certain in themselves in a field that's so in uncertain is just inspiring. It's like, where do you like get that? You know, it, it just caught me off guard. And I'm, I'm in a lab with a bunch of white people um, studying chemistry, um, doing electrochemical um, ammonia synthesis. And, and that's the most interesting thing from the entire summer, that kind of stuck with me. Honestly, I, I don't want to do research ever again, like ever. But if it's one thing, the, the whole reason I don't regret doing that internship is because I met Karan and I met some of the other people like Chris, we all would know who this is, like Chris and like um, Kai and, and some really cool people that I just never would have met if I didn't, if I wasn't there. But yeah, absolutely, he's inspired like I would say most of this, this change that's happening right now. And uh, as you're going through this process, this change, this shift, where do you see yourself 
five, ten years from now, now that you have new outlets, a new purpose, pretty much, but what you want to do? Has your views on your life changed to what the end goal or just the layout looks like now? Yeah, um, it, it has. I think before, I, you know, what I would like to be would have just been like a successful scientist, whether it be in like, like a computer scientist or like chemical engineer or whatever. And have like a decent salary and be able to like take care of my family back home, like, you know, when my parents get old or whatever, they don't have to ever worry about anything. And I still want that. But at the same time, I, I don't I don't want the scientist part of it. I don't want that I don't I don't want to do that anymore. That's not um, that's not what I I, I want. I, I would say in five to ten years I would like to be a fucking rock star, like someone who, you know, is just, they know themselves, they love what they're doing, um, which I hope would be music at that point in time. And yeah, I want all the same things, like being able to provide for my family and stuff like that, but just doing something I love.